That was a good speed run. I want to thank Jeff out there. Great guy, subscriber that got me off my ass and uh, got me to take some really good footage. Too bad I can't edit. Anyway, the camera is on right here. And it's very hard to, to, to run very fast and try and put my eyes that are right here try to put them over here so that you in the viewing world can see it. This is about the average temperature right here. Well, a little bit higher. This is um, about 180 degrees cylinder head temperature. It usually runs about two, and I'm gonna turn this off. It'll run like between 220 and 250, depending on how much pressure the cylinder has. Now remember, I'm 230 pounds. I'm a fat, old, really good looking uh, movie star, rock star, uh, broader, brother. Oh, cheap bop bop. And the bike, bike is running really good. The carb is running really good. Everything is running great. The new clutch, uh, $150 clutch is absolutely Beautiful. Best clutch I've got. And that is a... Let me think. Um, not a Delta clutch, but something else. This is a 28 millimeter. This is my... Uh, something or other. I'm running a 28 millimeter carb. Full Kevlar belt, which I suggest it you run. And of course, my Pirellis. i got to change that back Metzler. But for, for a bike that I bought in 1993, brand new, in 1993, I paid $1,100 for this bike off the showroom floor. It was a year old. Now, I didn't know at that time that a 94 engine was the one that is mostly uh, hot rotted. I didn't have any idea because I drove this bike completely bone stock for eight years before I even started to uh, modify it. Then I went to a 65cc from Steve Van Trees at VT Cycles. Thank you, Steve Brada. Bo cheap, cheap, bop, bop. Whatever the hell that means, but I, I still think I'm hip. I'm hip. <clears throat> and this pipe is absolutely beautiful it cost me a lot of money but I, I would suggest any of you that have a large uh, cylinder that you get, you get one of these pipes they're well worth every penny I paid and I'm not going to tell you how much it costs I never discuss parts you can see it's this is at 12 to well 12 degrees I got to turn that off right here another thing I'd like to get Tell you the truth, is a KN hundred and seventy five dollar. It's an exhaust temperature deal. It comes with a little gauge right up here. You drill a hole in your pipe, and you have a little tiny nut welded on there. It's an oxygen sensor that tells you if you're running like. Uh, too lean or too rich. Anyway, the bike's running good. Just about be put away for the season, even though it looks nice out here. Uh, I hope that I got some really good footage on a contour camera. And I guess I could write, I could uh, make this video for Euclid too. Hey, Euclid, dude, I know you're 50 years old, but, and you seem to know what you're talking about. Get a video camera like the one I have in my hands. Let's see your 29 bikes. I won't say nothing bad about them. I just want to see your bikes. Uh, it's not often I run again, run, run about, run around people that have that many bikes. So I'm going to put her away. I work seven days a week, take my stock bike, and go back to my main house. And then uh, I got to work. All right. So thank you, Jeff, for getting me off my ass to uh, take these videos, and I hope they turn out. Thank you to all my friends out there.
Aloha. Brada. Bo cheap cheap.